Two weeks ago, we told you about a new pest that made its way into Louisiana, a pest that could cripple the state's citrus and nursery industries. Now, the Asian citrus psyllid has turned up in another parish. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Bill Sherman has the story. Louisiana citrus and nursery industries in southeast Louisiana have been put on alert for a new pest. It's been identified as the Asian citrus psyllid. And inspectors working with the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry, the LSU Ag Center, and the USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, or APHIS, have confirmed the insect in five southeastern Louisiana parishes. Those are Orleans, Jefferson, St. Charles, Plaquemines, and now, as of early July, Lafouche Parish. The Asian citrus psyllid threatens to spread citrus greening, and that is the real threat. Citrus greening is a devastating disease that prevents fruit from ripening and eventually kills the trees. As of now, inspectors have found the citrus greening disease in only Orleans Parish. Where that tree came from. Now, that tree was about seven At a recent years press old. conference, Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry Dr. Mike Strained issued quarantine measures for the affected areas. Specifically in Orleans Parish, there will be a quarantine for the Asian citrus psyllid and for the citrus greening disease. And in that particular case, the fruit will be able to be sold once it is proper, ha properly handled and boxed. However, you will not be able to move or sell any citrus nursery stock, which means seedlings or citrus plants outside of Orleans. You can move them within Orleans, but not outside of Orleans. In addition, Commissioner Mike Strain issued another quarantine for Orleans, Jefferson, St. Charles, Plaquemines, and now Lafouche parishes. These parishes are under a different kind of quarantine. Fruit can be sold off of the citrus trees once properly packaged and processed, and nursery stock can be sold outside the parishes once it's properly treated. A systemic treatment 30 days prior to shipping and a foliar treatment 10 days prior to shipping. The citrus greening disease is spread by one of two ways, either by the Asian citrus psyllid or by grafting. However, the disease can lay dormant in an infected tree or plant anywhere from six months to three years. That's why a comprehensive and swift plan for spraying is a top priority. We need to take an aggressive approach. We need to do whatever we can to minimize the chance of greening in, in this parish. The Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry, the LSU Ag Center, and APHIS are all working together on arresting the spread of the insect and monitoring for the disease. And while the psyllid poses no threat to humans, it does present a real potential problem for the state's nursery and citrus industries. But the good news is we have a protocol, and if we follow that, they will allow us to, sh to continue shipping because we know and understand the value of the nursery stock industry, which is, which is quite large here in Plaquemines. Reporting with the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry, I'm Bill Sherman for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. Florida has been dealing with the Asian citrus psyllid and the greening disease for years. Texas also has the Asian citrus psyllid, but so far the citrus greening disease has not turned up there.